Hi everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innistall Idea Lab and Library, and in today's tips and tricks, we're going to learn how to create a cut line, and we're going to do that by creating a small keychain. So right now we have our canvas, and our canvas is this square in the middle of our page. Anything you design inside of this canvas will be captured. Anything that you will not want captured will be off to the side here. It's always designed within your box. Next, I like to measure my document properties. So I'm going to go up to File, click on Document Properties, and I'm going to select units to inches, and I'm also going to select my display units to inches. Now, my keychain, I would like it to be about two uh, inches by three inches tall. So you're going to see, now I'm going to close this window, and you'll see that right now our canvas is a lot smaller. So let me just zoom in so we can see that a little bit better, okay? Now, I'm going to take my square tool, I'm going to click and drag. And you can't really see it right now, so I'm going to open up my fill and stroke, and I'm going to change my fill set, my stroke style to a darker, higher number. Now, there's little balls on the side, and this can give a beveled edge. So we're going to create this as our cut line for our keychain, and I'm also going to do that as a little hole too for our keychain. I'm going to add some text into it. And I'm just going to center my text and I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so now I want to make this a cut line. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on the fills tab and I don't want to fill. But if I click on stroke paint, I do want to click the solid square and have a stroke. If I go to stroke style, I want to put in the magic numbers. So I'm going to switch the, instead of millimeters, I'm going to switch to IN for inches and I'm going to type in 0.001. This will make it a cut line. Any other number, like this 0 0.021, it will engrave, and our text is going to engrave. So any line that you would like to be cut, make sure the stroke is 0 0.001. It goes a little bit faint, but that gives you an idea of what it will look like. So I have my design finished. I'm going to go and save it. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save my Inkscape version and my PDF version, just in case if it, something doesn't go right when I'm saving it. So I'm going to select SVG for Inkscape, click Save, and then I'm going to save it again. So File, Save As, and I'm going to select PDF, Portable Document Format, and hit Save again. Click OK. Now if I go to my files, I should be able to see my image. So if I double click on it, we can see that I still have my line, but it has all of my text and everything in it. And there you have it. You just learned how to create a cut line in Inkscape. And this is perfect for laser cut projects or anything to do with cutting wood or acrylic on the laser. I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and thank you so much for joining me.